guys, so we're back with a couple of preppers. Also, along with the dog tracks, just came along some tricky tracks. Following right along the easy path. It's a track finding day. We've now come across, I assume either a squirrel or a small bunny. Right out of the brush over there. I couldn't imagine the poor people out on the prairies because it's about 33 degrees today. Sun is warm. Wind is ridiculous. Got to be 20, 25 mile an hour winds today or so. I couldn't imagine how they did this stuff walking across the so field with this. The wind is so cold. So we made it across the little field into the woods where the wind is dramatically reduced. So we're going to see where this leads us to. There doesn't really seem to be much of a path here. We're just kind of going for it. So. You can definitely tell the winds are always high here from the fields outside. There's so much debris all over the ground, even little you know, pieces of the pine trees all over the place. Big dead branches. Just debris everywhere. Oh, well, that guy broke off. A very hilly area. It's getting super warm now that the wind's not here. A little bit of wind, not a lot. We're walking along the top of the ridge line just in case we see something cool in the area. We have a better high vantage point for this area, so just stay up high for now. See if we can find anything new since we haven't ever been here before, so I don't really know where we're going. <laughs> Alright, so we followed the ridge line for a while. Land is either continuing to go up or we can go down. So we figure we're gonna venture inland because that's gonna be getting more towards the edge of the woods. So we're gonna start heading down and see what we see. Try to get down the snow here. It's not bad because it's got a crust so we're being able to float on top of it but when you do sink through there is still probably a little over a foot of snow out here, sometimes more in areas. I'm about to just slide down this whole area right here. Alright, so not too far in. We came along some water here. That's a good sign. Quite sure. I think it's flowing to the right. Yeah, I definitely think it's flowing to the right. Should we follow it? Yeah, let's go upstream because that would be leading more towards the... Yeah. This should be actually coming from the main water. Normally you would find follow it down to the bigger stuff, but I'm pretty sure this is actually where the big river up there ends into the marsh, so we're going to actually follow it upstream, see if we can find some larger water. Yeah. This is why you should really have a pole with you in areas like this. As soon as I shut you off, I stepped and smashed all that through into water. <laughs> yeah, that's a good six inches well, off the ground. Yeah. broken off at the end. Mm -hmm. Tape's going, so. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go around this way. We'll open back up a little bit. Came back into a little more wider part of the stream. So this probably is the right river. Keep following it. 
as I was just talking, look down. There's turkey tracks. I was like, what's dragging? Like, yeah. Yeah. Come back here and get some turkey with the bows. And it snowed yesterday morning, so I mean, these aren't too long. We got a good five inches of snow. They're probably a little older than got snowed on. Hmm. Found the perfect sitting bench. Right on the water. Right. Two perfect. Made specially for you or for us. <laughs> and next to the uh, sitting tree, we found probably a deer resting area. There's a ton of poo in here. It's only a clear spot. It's all over the place. Area. Yeah, it's a nice dry spot. It's all over the place. A nice cover with the pine trees up above. It's a nice makeshift little fire pit for a uh, quick and short fire. Couldn't do it for a long fire, but it'll work for a little one while we're sitting here relaxing for a few. Assuming you're making a dry bed for the fire to stay up yeah, off the ground. You know, a little moist, but it's reasonably you know, it's dry to the touch. So it won't burn right through, but it will. Keep some of this moist mud and snow out from, out from it. Oops. You got the uh, bunch of tinder and stuff we've collected over the past two days or whatever, right? Yep. We'll get it all out. Alright, so what I've got here, we don't have a lot, but I have a small bird's nest. This is made from, if you saw our, our previous video, this has cattails in it, also has swamp grass in it, a little bit of birch bark. I took a tiny bit of pine tree sap, or resin, which acts as a great fire extender, and put a little piece down in the center of the bird's nest, so that hopefully once we get a flame, it'll keep that flame going to make sure that our tinder catches if it's not dry enough. And we also have some char cloth that we previously made, also in another video. If you go back and check it out, we'll show you how to do that. And we're going to hopefully use that to catch our spark. So now we've taken our char cloth and stuck it down inside the bird's nest on top of the uh, pine resin there to hopefully catch the spark. And we already have some kindling ready to go on top of this if it takes it. Let me get my hand with that. This is a magnesium bar, right? Yep. So what he's doing is scraping off some of the shavings, and then those should catch the spark. There we go, got a little cool. 
cool so far. He's going to take the bird's nest. We're getting a little bit of smoke. I'll slowly blow it to life. There we go. Beautiful. There you go. We've got some nice dry kindling to go on top of there. Smells good to smell a campfire again. Oh, yeah. That's too beautiful. Long. Huh? It's been too long. Yes. Has definitely been a um, cabin fever winter this year. Definitely even just having this little fire is just a mood booster. You get to sit real axe warm up a little bit and everything, even though we're just out on our little day hike. Yeah. Hopefully we should be able to keep this going if we keep feeding it. I don't think it'll be a problem. We're going to sit and relax for a little while by the fire. So I jumped oh. off a log and we saw ooh, this little guy. I think he's struggling because it's still so cold. Get him out of the snow at least. Yeah. I'll put him over here on the ground. I don't know, did I like knock him off when I jumped off the log? I I just saw him hop out. Oh, he's struggling. It's probably so way cold. too cold for him. Oh, poor thing. I'm sorry if I hope you. I hope that wasn't me. It's a soft back. Okay. Oh, guy. Should put him like in the tree there. I figured I was saying the sun. Yeah, true. Oh, I guess I'm blocking it. Hi, little guy. He blends in with those leaves, huh? Right? Hi. So we moved the frog onto this log, and he found a spot. Get him on camera right down in there. He adjusted himself, so if he should be warm, the sun and the log and everything. So fire is completely out. All the logs are completely out. Doing a double check on everything. And we don't have clocks today, but we determined using our hands with the sun, meaning that the width of each hand is about an hour down to the ground. So we probably have, yeah, about an hour and a half left to light. And we've got a decent hike out, and we're hoping we're going to get the truck out since we were stuck when we got in here. But, um, yeah, so we're going to hike out. and. side of the field as we expected. We tried to do a big oval and come back and the truck should be over there towards the lot. So we skirted that tree line on the way in, way in the woods. On the way back we found a nice lake that we didn't even know was there. We completely walked right by it. A huge lake. So that's what cool. we found out on the way back. We get some fishing done when the summer comes along. But yeah, so fish is going right back to the truck. So the tree lines we stay out of the wind a bit. Huh? We'll be home free. Woo! 
Yeah, the next one.